Hello everybody and welcome to another edition of Stacking the Shelves. Um, I didn't do a Stacking the Shelves video last week because I took a bit of a break when I went to Saskatchewan with my family. So this week Stacking the Shelves encompasses the last two weeks. So it's kind of big. Um, first of all, the most exciting thing that I got this through that time is I got a Kindle Paperwhite and I'm so excited about it. I got this little um, this little leather case that Kindle makes for it and it's neat because it's like kind of like an iPad in that when I open it it uh, it um like when you close it it goes to sleep and then when you open it it wakes up it's almost dead my battery is dying but um, that's very exciting to me when you open it. I don't know. That's probably silly, but I thought that was very neat. I don't have to push the button. Um, but yeah, so I really, really, I, I really like it so far quite a bit, actually. I, um, it has the built-in backlight, so it's really convenient. It was really convenient on my trip because I was sleeping in, um, a room with both of my kids. So they could go to sleep and I just had it and I read and it was very, very handy. So yay for the Kindle Paperwhite. Um, and then I actually bought myself a few books from Walmart. Um, I bought The Scorpio Races by Maggie Stiefeter. I haven't read this one yet. Everyone else in the world has, so I really want to read it. I've heard that this is the best of all of her books. Um, and it's really cool looking. It just came out in paperback, so I bought the paperback version. And this book I read in high school, but I honestly, like, when I look back to reading books in high school, I generally remember something about them, but I know that I read this book and I remember nothing of it. I think I, like, blocked it out or something. <laughs> so I bought it so I could reread it, uh, Speak by Lori Hulse Anderson. I, yeah, I just want to reread it because I remember loving it, but I don't remember anything about it. So, yeah. And I also bought um, Lawless by Matt Bondurant. This used to be called, um, it was published under a different name before, The Wettest something. Um, the Wettest County in the World, it used to be called. But then the movie came out and they changed the name to Lawless and I absolutely adored this movie. This was by far my favorite movie of 2012 and I want to read the book to see what I think of it. Um, so those are the books that I bought for myself. On Monday my husband went to Walmart to buy a bike lock so our kids could ride their bikes to school and he bought me books! He, he knows the way to my heart! Um, he bought me earlier for my birthday, I'm sure you guys remember, he told me that I needed more smut in my life, and he bought me the first two books in this, uh, Sylvia Day series. And he found the third one, so he bought me the third one, Eve of Chaos by S.J. Day. So now I have all three, and I haven't read any of them, so I should probably get on that. And he also bought me, he said, he said this one was cool looking, and he saw the word dystopian on the back, and he hears me say that a lot. <laughs> so he bought me this book. Wool by Hugh Howie. This book's really cool looking. I like the way it looks. And the reviews on Goodreads are really, really good. So I'm excited. I think it's like five novellas in one. This is the book that encompasses them all, I guess. So yeah, we'll see. Um, and then I also got a package from the awesome Giselle of Expresso Reads. She sent me some books. Um, first of all, I will talk about the one that she sent me that I told her not to send me, but she has this habit of sending me her shit. So <laughs> she sent me, um, Period 8 by Chris, Chris Crutcher. Apparently it sucked. Her review was scathing. And... I'm actually debating reading it just because we fight about books so often and maybe I'll love it. Or maybe I'll just send it to Christina of a Reader of Fictions. Because that's going to be the train. It's going to come from Giselle to me to Christina. Um, and she also sent, she knew that I wanted to uh, read these ones, so she sent 
The Book of Blood and Shadow by Robin Wasserman. I wanted to read this last year when it came out and I never ended up picking it up, but I've heard great things about it. It's pretty big. It's a pretty big book. Um, that Time I Joined the Circus by J.J. Howard. This one has been getting some good re um, reviews. And there was something weird that she showed me in here, but I don't see it. I think she lied. I don't know. Okay, anyways, moving on. Moving on. Oh, yeah! Oh, I guess it's just like a stamp in there, but it's like a finished copy. And then inside, it, there's like a stamp, review copy, compliments of Scholastic. I've never seen that before, though. Are they stamped them? I've never seen that, but it's like a hardcover. Um, and she also sent me the diaper book, which is Chasers by James Phelan. It looks like a diaper, does it not? The series title? Totally does. Um, but she really enjoyed it, and she can't wait for the sequel, so I want to read this one and see what it's all about. And the final book, the thing that sparked this whole package, was The Fifth Wave by Rick Yancey. The reviews of this have been out of this world, and I can't wait to read it, and it's so big. Like, it's really thick, and it's also really tall. Like, it's a, it's a humdinger. Um, anyways, yeah, so those are the books that I got in the last two weeks, along with my Kindle. I also got some really exciting ebooks, um, but... I'll just link to those down below and you can see them. And thank you for watching. And make sure you link me up to your book call post and I'll come and see what you got. Have a good week. Bye.